What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you the isomers of no name or C9H20. First isomer is going to be normal no name and sometimes called N no name which we have nine carbons in a single branch four six eight and nine and is surrounded by all hydrogen atoms three five seven nine eleven thirteen fifteen seventeen nineteen and twenty second one is going to be two methyl octane which means that we have eight carbon and we have the methyl group on the second carbon next one is going to be very similar to the second one but we change the position of methyl group it's going to be three methyl octane Another one is going to be 4-methyl octane and again in this one we have the methyl group on the fourth carbon which is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have one methyl group in the branch, second, third and then the fourth one. So we cannot go further, we cannot have 5 methyl, why? Because it's going to be on here, and once we have it on this side, we need to start numbering from right hand side. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, which is going to be the same. Next isomer will be when we have 2 methyl groups. It's going to be 2 and 2, diethylheptane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two and two. It's going to be like that. Number six is going to be two and three dimethyl heptane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number seven is going to be. 2 and 4 dimethyl heptane. We have 7 again, so 1 in here, 1 in here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, so 2 and 4 dimethyl heptane. Number 8 is going to be 2 and 5 dimethyl heptane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two and five. So one, two, three, four, five. So we have the methyl group on the second one and methyl group on the fifth one. So that's why we have two and five dimethyl heptane. Number nine is gonna be two and six dimethyl heptane. one two three four five six and seven carbons so on the second one and on the sixth one we have the methyl group one two three four five six seven so two and six dimethyl heptane number ten it's gonna be three and three dimethyl heptane one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have three and three. We have two methyl groups on the same carbon atom, which is the third one. One, two, three. 
number 11 it's gonna be 3 and 4 dimethyl heptane so we have this time on third and on fourth carbon atom so we have one methyl group here one methyl group here one two three and four number 12 it's gonna be three and five dimethyl heptane one two three four five six seven it's gonna be three and five so one two three four five six seven so we have on the third one and on the fifth one that's why we have three and five dimethyl heptane number 13 is going to be four and four dimethyl heptane it's going to be four and four dimethyl heptane next one is going to be when we have a ethyl group so we can have three ethyl group three ethyl heptane which is going to be like this ethyl group connects to the third carbon atom or it's going to be 4 ethyl heptane. Just going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's going to be on the fourth one. 1, 2, 3, 4. So now we have number 16, and I need to have the isomers that have three methyl groups. So it's going to be 2 and 2 and 3 trimethyl hexane. So we have 6 carbon atoms. So we have 2 and 2 and 3 trimethyl hexane. 17 is going to be when we have 2 and 2 and 4 trimethyl hexane. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. Next one is going to be number 18. It's going to be two and two and five trimethyl hexane. One, two, three, four, five, six methyl, methyl, and it's going to be carbon in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 2 and 2 and 4, it's going to be actually on 5, this one, because we had this one here. So 2 and 2 and 5, trimethyl hexane. Number 19, it's going to be 2 and 3 and 3, trimethyl hexane. 6 carbons again. Two and three and three trimethyl hexane. Number twenty. Two and three and four trimethyl hexane. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, and three methyl. It's going to be on the second third and fourth one two three four five six twenty one is gonna be two three and five trimethyl hexane one two three four five six two three and five so one two three four five six 
next one is going to be 22nd it's going to be 2 and 4 4 try methyl hexane which is going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have one in here and two methyl on the fourth carbon so one two three four five six next one is going to be number 23 and we have three three and four trimethyl hexane one two three four five six three and three four in here so we have one two three four five six three and three four trimethyl hexane number 24 it's gonna be now all the methyls are done the trimethyl isomers I'm gonna have one methyl and two one methyl and one ethyl so I'm gonna have one like that one two three four five six so we're gonna have like one methyl in here and one ethyl in here which is gonna call three ethyl two methyl hexane why because one two three four five six and we named ethyl first because E comes before N in alphabetic order. 25th is going to be 4-ethyl, 2-methyl, hexane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1-methyl and 4-ethyl. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 26. It's going to be 3 ethyl, 3 methyl, hexane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's going to be 3 ethyl and 3 methyl. So we have 1 ethyl group and 1 methyl group both on the third carbon. next one is going to be we have the methyl here and the ethyl in here so it's going to be three ethyl four methyl hexane one two three four five six ethyl is going to be here methyl is going to be in here one two three four five six so it's going to be 3-ethyl, 4-methyl. Next one is going to be when we are dealing with 4-methyl groups. So it's going to be 2 and 2, 3 and 3, tetra, methyl, pentane. So it means that on the main one, we have 5 carbon and we have 2 and 2 three and three tetramethyl tetra means four so we have four methyl groups two in on the second and two on the third carbon number 29 is going to be two and two three and four tetramethyl pentane one two three four five so one one on the second one one on the third one and one on the fourth one so one two three four five so two on the second one on the third and one on the fourth so that's why we have two and two three and four tetramethyl pentane number 30 it's going to be two and two four and four tetra methyl pentane it's gonna be one two three four five 
2 and 2, mm, 2 and 2, 4 and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have two methyl groups on the second and two methyl groups on the fourth one. 31. It's going to be 2 and 3. You can have another 3 and 4. Tetra, methyl, pentane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1 on here, 2 on here, and 1 on here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It doesn't matter. We can count it from this side. It doesn't change anything. So we have 1 on the second one, and 2 on the third one, and 1 on the fourth one. 30 seconds when we are dealing with 1 ethyl and 2 methyl groups. It's going to be 3 ethyl. 2 and 2 dimethyl pentane, which is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Ethyl group like this, and methyl groups like this. So 3 ethyl, 2 and 2 dimethyl pentane. Ethyl comes first because it's the alphabetic order. Number 33, we are dealing with 3 ethyl, 2 and 3 dimethyl pentane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have ethyl in here, and we have 1 methyl here, and 1 methyl in here. So we have 3 ethyl and 2 and 3 dimethyl pentane. 34, when we have 3 ethyl, 2 and 4 dimethyl pentane. Which is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 ethyl, 2 and 4 dimethyl Pentane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, it doesn't matter which way we go for numbering. And the last one is going to be 3 and 3 diethyl. So when we have two ethyl groups, pentane. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have one ethyl in here and one ethyl in here. One, two, three, four, five. We have three and three diethyl pentane. So this is the last isomers of no name. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question and I get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and have a great day.